Okay, so welcome everybody, Classics and Chill 2.0. 2.0. <laughs> we have many new people. I'm Drew. I'm Annette. Uh, Logan. Before we start, I want to say we're doing, you know, new people into the videos. I'm also going to try a new format where we make shorter videos um, and more kind of streamlined. So I have some introductory info about Shakespeare and Romeo and Juliet. Then we're going to do some discussion on the anticipation guide questions that I sent you all. Um, and then we're going to read the prologue to Romeo and Juliet. You sent us questions? I did in the text, in, in the text, in the messenger. You responded, Marat. I responded. Oh, yeah, okay. I mean, I didn't answer, didn't answer the questions. I did look up a bunch of uh, Dr. Samuel Johnson's comments on Romeo and Juliet. But okay, let's start at the beginning. Welcome to Shakespeare. You longtime fans have seen us do sonnets. Uh, there's a lovely intro video that we did for you about just some Shakespearean language, the, thy, thou, etc. Um, the basics of that is if you don't understand something, don't freak out too much. Um, it's okay. You're going to get, get through it. You'll probably need to slow down a little bit and put in a little extra effort uh, than you will like a story that was written last year. Uh, but it does get easier with time. The way that I see it is it's kind of like listening to Pearl Jam or Fall Out Boy. It's really hard to understand what they're saying at first, but if you start liking the band, you before long will be able to understand them. Shakespeare, huge Pearl Jam is the Shakespeare boy. of our times, is that what you're saying? The <laughs> <laughs> line from Shakespeare or a Fall Out Boy song title. <laughs> now that is a good idea. <laughs> oh, it seems like the format's off to a great start. Oh, it's much tighter. This is much better. Yeah, way smoother. <laughs> it actually is better. <laughs> it's 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 better. Can't like start this be an hour and a half video. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll do our best. Second tip, hot tip. If you suddenly have no idea what anybody's talking about, uh, especially in a monologue, ask yourself, is this about death or sex? Because that's a good place to start. <laughs> Usually both. <laughs> Usually both. Oh. All oh. of his songs. I swear, are just, what if I die and I can't have sex anymore? Dude, that's the tragedy. Final point, even if you watch these videos and you read the cliff notes and you still are completely lost in the weeds, don't worry. Um, Shakespeare was written 400 years ago. It's a slightly different language than the one we speak today. Unless you're British, he was also in a different country. So you are reading someone from a different culture from 400 years ago. It's going to be difficult. They had different slang, different vocabulary. You know, don't feel stupid. You're not stupid. Hey. Um, so high school will be over soon. <laughs> high school will be over soon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there, there you've done our research. <laughs> Marion just ending the video with some wisdom right there. <laughs> There's don't worry about it too much. The high school it, will be over know. soon. I mean, yeah. Spoiler, <laughs> unless you are uh, unless you are Romeo and or Juliet, you'll Ooh. you'll make it to the end of high school. <laughs> yeah, spoilers, bro. That one was death related. <laughs> <laughs> that that was my death no, no. monologue. Yeah, I mean, I guess my only thought, in addition to all that, and I say this as someone who quite likes Shakespeare, there's also fully the possibility that you will fully understand everything and by the end be like, I do not like Shakespeare. Romeo and Juliet specifically, actually a lot of people either love or hate. Don't feel like you, you have to like it just because people are telling you that it's great. It can also be great and you don't like it. Just, just like Fallout yeah. Boy and Pearl Jam. <laughs> Indeed, just, just like, like Pearl Fallout. Jam. <laughs> Not for everyone. Um, <laughs> yeah. and he was, uh, they are the Shakespeare of our time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when do we Shakespeare. start the disagreement part of the show? <laughs> Shakespeare, the Pearl Jam of his time. I just have one last point to add on to it. One of the reasons Shakespeare survived so long is that at the time, he was like the six, 17th, 16th century, whenever it was, version of Kanye West. He was very infamously called an upstart crow in the playwright world because he was writing plays and selling out and he had the queen as his patron and he was not very humble or courteous about it. Oh so my God. he got like great PR, basically. Yeah. It, PR could exist at that time. So, you know, oh. if you don't like Kanye West, you might not like Shakespeare is what I'm getting. He's <laughs> really that. the Kanye West of his time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool.